how do you plan to ensure that the urban agenda is given the proper consideration in the European Parliament in the coming five years? The urban dimension is, is clear for everybody that we cannot and we will not be able to, to solve the problems of the European Union without stressing the importance of cities. So that's why, from one point of view, it's not easy because we have to, uh, we will have to fight for, for this. But from the other side, we will rather uh, have to um, show the, the obvious reasons to do it. It means that, um, uh, as far as I know, the, the urban dimension is present very often, but not directly in the regulation. It's um, uh, just hidden uh, in the text from time to time. It's a, a kind of suggestions, guidelines, proposals. Uh, we think it should be much stronger in the regulations and it will be an uh, important role in, in the whole cohesion policy and of course in the other policies of the European Union. This is our goal and we will try to do it during the next uh, four and a half years. And uh, do you see cities themselves playing a more strategic role in EU policy making, shaping the agenda and working with you? Yes, but cities, they, they, they have uh, several uh, possibilities. They use uh, better, or as it depends on the uh, of local authorities. First, of course, the, the cities, they can uh, do it uh, through their representatives in the Committee of the Regions. This is one element, but the uh, Committee of Regions, of course, is the opinion-making body, which, uh, as one of the institutions of the European Union, has an important role to play. But uh, it's uh, a representative uh, of, of local authorities, so that's why the cities are looking for another possibility, parallelly, like um, very, very efficient uh, uh, association, European association, like, for example, Eurocities. Uh, this is a very efficient role because the, the, the associations like Eurocities, uh, they are more dynamic and they are more, more flexible. They, so they can behave like, for example, public authorities from, from the other side. They, they can behave like a sort of lobbyists at the same time. And, uh, and that's why the, the, the association like Eurocities, they, they are in touch with us directly with the members of the European Parliament. I think that the cities, um, they have experience in, in Europe and they, they, they use different methods, different instruments. And of course, the, the urban intergroup in the Parliament is one of the elements. What is interesting that many of the members of the Parliament, uh, members of the intergroup, are the former mayors. Uh, so the people who know uh, the, 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 the reality, the, the practice, etc. So. I think this is uh, a very interesting period uh, now that we can show what is, how important the urban dimension is.